that's when you run the risk of losing that right. And also today, uh, we're talking about the nomination in a committee that should look carefully at that. It's a committee I'm on, the Intelligence Committee, uh, of someone to run the CIA, the Central Intelligence Agency, critically important to the country. And actually, the president has nominated the most qualified person ever to be nominated to that job in the history of the CIA. Someone who spent her entire 30 plus year career in the CIA. Someone who's had almost every job you could have in the CIA. Someone who's been at the front ranks in the most uh, dangerous of countries working for the Central Intelligence Agency and someone who currently is serves not just as the acting director, but has been serving as the deputy director. Uh, nobody's ever been nominated with that capacity. When people look at the hearing that uh, was publicly held today, I think they're gonna see an individual of incredible preparation. They're gonna see someone who needs no on the job training. Someone who's not only running the agency now day to day, but someone who knows more about the agency the Central Intelligence Agency than anybody's ever known who held that job. Uh, when we confirm Gina Haspel, and I believe we will, I know we should, when we confirm uh, Gina Haspel, there will be no on-the-job training necessary. She will run the CIA. The CIA won't run her. Now, if almost any member of the Senate, even members who've been on the Intelligence Committee for years, went to the CIA, there'd be a great likelihood that at least for a while, the CIA would run them. That the CIA would say, well, here's, here's something we have to do, here's something we used to do, here's a box that's always been checked before, and it takes a certain amount of time to determine why that may have been necessary. It will take her no time to determine what's necessary and what's not. She's nominated by the president that she has been briefing since her boss became the Secretary of State, and part of the time while he was the director of the CIA, um, General Hayden, one of virtually every past director of the CIA, Democrat and Republican appointees, have said she is someone who should be confirmed. Uh, General Mike Hayden, in a quote that I particularly liked, uh, said that she was the person he would want in the room when the president was making a decision. She'd be the person that you and I would want, I think, to be there understanding the facts. Sometimes we don't know all the facts, but all the facts we should know, if anybody knows them, uh, the director of the Central Intelligence Agency should know them. I said in the hearing this morning, this is a phrase I don't use very often, and I think it's often overused, but if there's ever a moment when someone who speaks truth to power, if that's the right way to describe a discussion, that could certainly be the moment when the director of the CIA, with a 32 or 34 year career there, would say to the President of the United States, Mr. President, that doesn't take into account all of the facts. Let's be sure that we understand everything that we need to know before you make that decision, that's truth to power.